We are in the between sets one and two of a jazz tribute to bebop legend uh, Dexter Gordon. Uh, he was part of the big bebop movement um, with Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, all those fun people. Uh, American tenor saxist, uh, super talented, did a lot of interesting stuff. Um, part of the set was um, uh, a tune called Moment. Another one was I'll Hang My Tears Out to Dry. Um, there were two more, three more, but I'm not 100% positive on the names of them, but I bet I can find them on Spotify. Uh, um, that was just David. Anyway, um, he, a lot of his, his influences were people like, um, Oh, uh, who was he influenced by? Okay, I'll get back to that. Um, I know he was a uh, he was a really like humorous, genial performer. A lot of his defining characteristics are that he really liked to play to communicate with the audience. Um, so he was all about like an interactive experience with the audience. Um, he also like in his time was a big influence on uh, uh, incredible sax players um, like John Coltrane. Train. Um, Sonny Rollins, he was a big influence on. Um, so he had his big impact in jazz. He was nominated for an Academy Award, fun fact, for his role um, in. I. Oh, I just read this. Um, this will be in the video that I add, but. Um, really great, really great jazz music. The sax player that we just saw playing the Dexter Gordon tribute um, was an excellent improvisational player. Oh my god. He was just going and going and going and I was like, he's making this shit up on the... Sorry, I can't curse. Um, I won't edit that out, but he's making this stuff up on the fly. He was just incredible. Um, staying for the second set, very excited. Uh, I'm staying. Uh-huh. Um, but it was uh, very, very good, very exciting. Uh, trumpet player was also very, very talented. I have no idea still how his chops survived that, but they did. Um, guitar player was playing, they were all just girl. That bass soloist, I would, they were, he was going up and down, the, oh, and the, tr the drum player was playing traditional style, which was fun. He had his left hand twisted a little bit, um, and it was just absolutely spectacular. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, that information, who his influences were, and what film he was nominated for will be added, tacked on at the end of this. Stay tuned. Okay, he was influenced by Lester Young nominated for Round Midnight. He also did a cameo in another movie in the 1990s, which was great. Okay, so the 1990s film he had a role in, the cameo role was called Awakenings, and another defining thing about Dexter Gordon, he was known for putting like, uh, I remember talking about this in Zest class, he, he was known for putting like little snippets of a song, he'd use like, He'd use like old operas. Um, he would do uh, "Happy Birthday." He would just he would just put random quotes from like different other established works that were outside of the jazz realm and throw them in, and it would be like a little Easter egg for whoever could hear it. Um, that was always fun.